to add text and do basic formatting of text within InDesign, let's grab our Type tool. Type tool looks like a big T. It may be hiding underneath the Type on Path tool. Just make sure you've got the original Type tool. Then in the space just above our five images, I want you to click and drag and create a text frame. This should give you a blinking cursor if you've done it right. And let's type out Grand Cuisine. Grand Culture and Grand Central. Now if you pay attention to the control panel at the top, as long as you've got your type tool, you'll have the type options. But if we select our black arrow selection tool, this will allow us to have the options for the frame itself. And this will also allow us to give it an exact X and Y and height and width location. So in the X position, let's choose 0.25. For Y, do 9.5, and for the width of 4.5 and, and a height of 0.25. That'll place it exactly right where it needs to be. Now we can choose our Type tool again. If we place your cursor anywhere within the frame, you can go up to Edit and Select All. This will select all of the text within the frame. And let's go to the top center of our control panel and change the color of our text we scroll down to that green that we created. Also, while we're up here, let's change the font that we're using. On the far left-hand side, highlight the first font, start typing ATC, and then choose Coral Normal. This will change it to the font that's necessary. With everything still selected, you can also click the up arrow at the uh, next to the size of your type and bring it up until it starts to fill the entire frame. If you accidentally go too far, just click it down once, and that'll bring it back down to here. About 17 points should be good for this size. You can deselect it by clicking anywhere off of it, and this is a good point to go up and save. So we'll go to File and Save and continue on. The other thing we can do with text is to place an external file, just like we've placed an external image. If we go up to File and Place, Locate the contact RTF file. We also want to make sure replace selected item is unchecked and everything else is unchecked along with it. When we say open, again, this will follow our cursor until we click and drag. But in this case, we want to click just inside this pink margin. And this will automatically create a text box within inside our margin area. With that done, let's resize it. Choose your selection tool, the black arrow. I'm going to click on the bottom right hand corner and drag it in until it fits the exact size that we need. And then we can bring it down to the bottom right corner of our page. So it should be nesting firmly in there. I'm going to zoom in just so we can see it a little bit better. Right there. To make it slightly larger, I'm going to hold down the Command and the Shift key as I click and drag the top left corner. And we're going to drag it up until it says about 120%. I'm looking at the top of my control panel to be about 120 right there. Where I was looking was up here when I drug it. However, as soon as you let go of it, it will go back to 100%. That's normal and that's the way it should be. Change the color of the type. With it still selected, you can go to your fill option. Choose the T under here. This will give us our type color and select paper and that will turn it nice white. Now let's grab our type tool again, click and drag over all of the text, and in the paragraph panel, let's choose to align it to the right hand side. With that done, we can choose our selection tool, click on it, I'm going to hit Command-0 to back out to see our entire area. To get a preview of how this will look, check out the top just above your uh, control panel. And look for this icon for the screen mode. If you go to preview, this will give you a preview of what it looks like once it's printed and all of the bleeds have been cropped off. This is a good saving point, so let's go to file and save. And this will continue the final stage. 